The impact of David's well has been really long term, seeing how that there's been real transformation, not only physically, but spiritually. People knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. Juan and Adalia Rodriguez moved from the Dominican Republic in 1987 to Panama. Juan pastors a local large congregation there, as well as overseeing the work throughout the western Panama, Costa Rica, and Nicaragua. Our primary mission is to bring people to Christ, to take the gospel to the people, converting, baptizing, teaching them to observe all the things the Lord has commanded, and establishing congregations everywhere the Lord opens a door. what Juan has done and to go and be a part of that is a true gift. He is a man who has f is tremendously filled with the Holy Spirit and is really working in an amazing way with the government to bring Christ's love into the remotest parts of Panama to people who have never seen white people, never seen cars, and he's bringing education, health care, and, and ultimately Christ's love to these people. We found communities without education, without medicine, without drinking water, people living in shanty towns with their sick children and without a roof over their heads. The needs are incredibly great and they are uh, going to be that way for a long time. But to be in villages where before we'd watch them drink water from a shallow pit, the same pit where animals were were drinking, where scum had to be pushed back in order to, to get the water and to drink from. And now that they have clean running water. Juan knows that he's just one person. One person is limited in what they can do. Limited to just their lifetime and their ability to go out into different places. But when other leaders are trained, it multiplies those efforts many times over. We train leaders, qualified, well-trained leaders, firm in the teachings of Christ. When I am with Juan in Panama and seeing the baptismal services, it is truly amazing. Sometimes the baptismal services will last for more than a half an hour. People coming and being baptized, praying together, singing uh, over and over again the hymns. And uh, it's just a, a really amazing time. I love Juan and I'm amazed by his effectiveness. Uh, he is uh, truly a servant for the Indians here. He has a real love for the Indians and he wants them to come to know Jesus. To watch Juan with the people there is unbelievable. Like I said, I, I believe that he is filled with the Holy Spirit in an amazing way. And God has given him just an incredible capacity to love and to, I mean, just such uh, ingenuity, such a creative ideas for how to help these people. This isn't just an act he puts on every week when the Americans come by. This isn't just some show. This is who he really is every day. If we're there or not, he is out there doing these things. Juan's an amazing visionary at, at working with the, the, the villagers and, and, the, and the local people there and really seeing the needs that they have. It's just amazing to see the churches that have been built, the people that have come to Christ, and the true disciples that have been made through the work that he does. And um, to me, there's no greater place for me to invest my, my time and my energy and my money than through David's well and Pastor Juan.